today. I will continue Mahasri Bhana Sutta. Second chapter in third chapter. Who puts her in? Who awareness of Priya comprehension? Priya Bhaka Baba Samba Jana Baba. You can sleep well because the mind is very tired. Una cha brambe goe beku, ki chanda wa ki chami di pa jana di, ki do wa ki do mi di pa jana di, ni se no wa ni se no mi di pa jana di, si a no wa si a no mi di pa jana di. Yadha yadha wa vanasa gaya sa Yadha yadha wa vanasa gaya panihi do hodhi Tata tata nam pa jana di Very simple sentences But meaning is very difficult What is the meaning? Again, begu si e begu When walking, he understands I'm walking. When standing, he understands I'm standing. When sitting, he understands I'm sitting. When lying down, he understands I'm lying down. Or He also understands however his bodily his body is disposed. This is very simple. So because of this reason, Swami understand if you are walking, then if you know I'm walking, this is enough. <laughs> but it is not enough according to Gumanji's explanation. So because of this reason, if you Again, listen another chapter. Samba Jenya Papa. Full awareness of clear comprehension. Puna Chabra Bekwe Big Gandhi, Bidi Gandhi, Samba Jana Gari Hodi, such a whole that thought. Again, Bekus Ebeku understand. When he is going forward or Radhani, he acts in full awareness. Vigu, a Vigu is one who acts in full awareness. When walking forward in Radhani. So in previous chapter, for body, Pocha Chabda also Buddha says, when walking, he understands I'm walking. In this Chabda also he, Buddha says again, every group is one who acts in full awareness. When going forward or returning. So they are nearly same. Again, the last Paragraph, last sentence. Kde ti de ni se ni so de jagri de basi de dongi bawe samba jana gari hodi. A big group is one who acts in full awareness when walking, standing, sitting, falling asleep, waking up, and dogging and keeping silence. So there is also another walking. So there are three types of walking. In full bodily posture session, there is also walking. A very good understands when walking, he understands I mean walking. And then again, a vehicle is one who acts in full awareness 
when going forward or returning. Okay. Okay. A Virgo is one who acts in full awareness when walking. So three types. What is the difference? The difference is long walking and short walking and moving. For example, when you are going for one mile or two miles, etc., for arms round, and then that is walking meditation. Within monastery, when we, you are practicing walking meditation practice, this is called who has in full awareness when going forward or returning. But within sitting, sometimes you may move forward and Bhagavad, this is called last one, who at in full awareness when walking or standing or sitting, etc. So there are three types of movement. Long walking is called full bodily posture. Hmm? Middle walking is maybe clear comprehension or full awareness chapter. And then short walking also in clear comprehension or full awareness chapter. So when walking, when walking, a big good understand and walking, how he understands. So this is the meaning. Eh? According to Gumentri's explanation, hmm? he shall meditate the opportunity, the vayan sanity. He shall meditate the opportunity. The consciousness arises that I will go. Before going, the consciousness arises I will go. Hmm? You should try to discern that consciousness first. But according to Buddha's teaching, every uh, mind of consciousness which arises depending on heart base can produce bodily movement. I do consciousness. Ear do consciousness, nose do consciousness, tongue do consciousness, body do consciousness cannot produce any bodily movement. Only mind do. Mind do consciousness rise to bend it on your heart place. So if you want to discern <coughs> that consciousness, I shall go. I will go. If you want to discern that consciousness, I will go. Then you should try first to do some ultimate materiality first. Especially, you must be able to design your heart face. If you cannot design your heart face, then it is not easy to design that consciousness, which hmm, you have the intention to go somewhere. Hmm? So, first you should try to design that consciousness. But that consciousness arises always together with associated mental formations. In Buddha's teaching, one mental factor alone cannot rise. They are always arise with associated mental formations. For example, when you are going for meditation, at that time, if you have wholesome karma, then that wholesome dharma, wholesome consciousness is associated with usually the three mental factors. But while going to going for meditation, uh, going to meditation hall, and then, then you feel a happiness. Then there will be no wholesome dharma. <laughs> there are wholesome dharma. They will be associated with a wholesome mental factors. But wholesome consciousness or unwholesome consciousness, both can produce bodily animation, bodily movement. So because of this reason, first we should try to design consciousness. <coughs> One sitting, then you should try to do like that. For example, hmm? you should pay attention here. You should try to discern heart face. Then 
if you see consciousness, if you see going up mind, then you should do like that. Then you can see consciousness, which is being in subtraction. In the same way, one hogging, if you want to practice, then please try in one corner of your hogging part. Please, if you had been already practiced Anabana, then you should try Anabana Kamatana up to fourth jhana stage. Imagine from fourth jhana, then you should do some argument materially throughout your body. Hmm? Especially in heart rates. Hmm? In this area, there are 54 types of materiality. Heart degree glaba, body degree glaba, sex degree glaba, mind produce materiality, but then temperature produce materiality, nutrient produce materiality, glabas, water glabas. So, all together, there are six types of glaba. Among these six types of kalaba, you should emphasize only heart base. Hmm? If you had been desert heart base, then you should try to move forward. Little bit only. No, really move. Little bit forward. Then <coughs> that consciousness you should try to see. The intention to move that consciousness. If you can design that consciousness, again you should try to see that consciousness produce uncountable, numerous, small particles, calabas. These calabas spread throughout the body. If you analyze these calabas, in each calabas there are eight types of materiality, such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence. Among these eight types, first you should find predominant for the wind element. Move the forward. Hmm? That weight element had the characteristic of supporting as well as the function. Function is pushing. That weight element you should try again to discern. This is predominant feather. So, the, if you can discern that weight element, then again you should try as if you are moving. Then that weight element can produce bodily intimation. Bodily intimation, kaya oinyadi, when they surfacing. That bodily intimation, that weight element can produce that bodily intimation. You should try to see this bodily intimation. Hmm? Then when the weight element spread throughout the body, together with that bodily intimation, according to your own, in this way, that mind produce material the predominant factor eh, predomin is one element. Eh? Carry the, the whole body forward. Such from powerful energy, your mind. Hmm? Your mind can go to far up. <laughs> Very powerful. <laughs> Mm. Then energy, strong energy, then forward, slowly, please try. Then the, there are two types of materiality. Carrying materiality, be carried materiality. Be carried materiality means in our body there are four types of materiality. Kama produce materiality, mind produce materiality, temperature produce materiality, then, nutrient essence produce materiality. Hmm? All together they are four types. Among these four types, carrying materiality is mind produce materiality only. Being carried materiality is there are four types. Karma produce materiality, mind produce materiality, temperature produce materiality, Nutrient essence produce materiality. Mind produce materiality is both sides. Carrying materiality also mind produce materiality. We carry materiality also mind produce materiality. Why? For example, now you are walking. 
to kitchen. So then you don't want to go. Hmm? Many complaints. <laughs> <laughs> Except I'm consciousness, my moment. Uh, other I do cognitive process, my moments can produce in the same way. My produce materiality. When walking, you may hear any sound. But you are still going. So that ear do cognitive process, except ear consciousness. Other consciousness, my moment, can produce. Mind produce materiality. In the same way, while you are going, you may smell any, any smell. Huh? You may feel any smell. That nose to, uh, nose to cognitive process by moment, except and nose consciousness. Other consciousness by moment can produce temperature materiality. Uh, uh, my produce materiality. In the same way, when you are hoping, you may catch something because you are pressing. There is also body do, cognitive process. But except body consciousness, my moment. Other my moments also can produce my produce material. So, this I do. Ear do, nose do, tongue do, body do. This five do cognitive process may produce, may produce materiality, but they cannot produce any bodily movement. So they are big carried group. In the same way, when you are walking, there are between two cognitive process, there are also many going up mind states. This going up mind state, every going up mind state also can produce, may produce materiality. They cannot produce any bodily movement. Only mind do cognitive process. That mind do is strong, powerful mind do only. Maybe at the beginning stage, few mind do movements, mind do cognitive process, they cannot produce any bodily movement. Strong, powerful mind do cognitive process only can produce bodily movement. So, because of this reason, my produce material is both set. Carrying materiality, be carried materiality. You should try to discern both sides. Carrying materiality also you must try to discern. They are eight types of materiality only. Be carried materiality, they are four types. Karma produce materiality, mind produce materiality, temperature produce materiality, nutrient essence produce materiality. These two types of Materially, you must discern. But when walking, especially you must emphasize mind produce materially, which produce bodily movement when you are walking. When you are walking, if you emphasize only mind produce materiality, which is Moving forward, then slowly you will understand this is carrying rubber. Hmm? You will also see big carried rubber. For example, there's one man is coming carrying something in his, on his shoulder. You are emphasizing only man, but in everyday valley you can also see this carrying back because they are together. <laughs> in the same way, while walking, you should emphasize only we uh, carry materiality only. This is my produce materiality. But when you are emphasizing carry materiality, then you, in everyday value, you can see we carry ruby, four types of materiality. Karma produce materiality, my produce materiality, temperature produce materiality. Nutrient essence produce materiality. These four types of materiality also you can see. In they, they show one example. 
Yes, it's small river, for example. Hmm? Water is flowing. If you put dry leaves on the water, dry branches on the water, they also will flow. But these leaves or these branches, they don't move, but water is flowing. In the same way, water is like my produce materiality. Karma produce materiality, temperature produce materiality, my produce materiality, and then nutrient acid produce materiality, like leaves. When water move, they are also move. So because of this reason, from this place you can go to there, from there you can come back here. So because my produce materiality is carrying the whole body, you should try to see this. This is the meaning. But to reach that stage, you must already have design ultimate materiality. Then you must already design ultimate mentality. Because of this reason, after Anabana session of the Vipassana stage, Buddha hmm? thought, after that only Buddha thought, this whole bodily posture session. In the same way, Sambat Janat session, clear comprehension session, or full awareness session. It is connected to each other. Without discerning ultimate mentality, ultimate materiality, if you practice this four body posture meditation, you will not understand the right meaning. But to reach that stage, for beginners, not easy. So, because of this reason, for beginners, in clear comprehension session, commentary explains four types of sambhachana, clear comprehension or full awareness. Four types is number one is sadhaka sambhachana. Number two is sabaya sambhachana. Number three is gochara sambhachana. Number four is asamoha sambhachana. What is Sataka Sambhachana? When you are bending, when you are stretching your limbs, you should try to understand whether this is beneficial or not. Hmm? When you are going somewhere, you should, before you are going, you should reflect. When I'm going to this place, whether there will be beneficial or not. What is benefit? Benefit is increasing wholesome mass. What wholesome mass? Dana also wholesome mass. Sila also wholesome mass. Samadhi, samatha, concentration practice also wholesome mass. Vipassana insight also wholesome mass. So when I am going to that place, these wholesome mass will increase or not. You must reflect. If there is no such as a or benefit, then you should not go. If there is any benefit, you must go. <coughs> Such type of reflecting is called Sandhaka Sambhachana. So when meditating, meditation is beneficial or not? <laughs> Good. So uh, you must try. <laughs> if you see benefit, oh, Oh, very peaceful, very peaceful. <laughs> very good. Huh? So it is benefit to your happiness, hmm? happiness feeling. Then you must try. So you must reflect. This is called Sadhaka Sambhachana. Then Sabhaya Sambhachana is if you go to, for example, to one city, one place, it is beneficial, it is true. But whether it is suitable or not, you must reflect again. Because if there are so many people, crowded people, if you go to there, then you must uh, attack to each other. There may be many angers, many um, uh, not suitable huh? activities there may be. So such a place, although it is benefit, you should not go. <coughs> so this is not suitable. When you are meditating, for example, meditation is okay, but if the subject of meditation is wrong subject, <coughs> then it will be no beneficial. Hmm? 
The mother is wrong mother, then it will be no beneficial. And now in this, I think so, in Japan, many problems, many children who, who try to, to be dead huh? together in Modoga. This is wrong attitude. Huh? So, when, although it is good, you should reflect whether it will be suitable to you or not. If it is suitable, then you should try. If it is not suitable, then you should refrain. Hmm? This is Sapaya Sambhachana. These are outside meditation, only just reflecting, reflection only. But another important thing is Gautra Sambhachana. Before you are practicing Vipassana, this Gautra Sambhachana is necessary. What is Gautra Sambhachana? Gautra they translate Pascha. Huh? Pascha. What is Pascha? The Pascha of your mind. Hmm? Especially this is Samatha meditation subject. Here are body Samatha meditation subjects. Among these body meditation subjects, you should choose anyone. Now you choose Anabana or for any meditation. So, when you are going forward or when you are when, when you are standing, when you are sitting, when you are lying down, in every body posture you must practice anapana. This is Kochra Sambhachana. Hmm? But if you are practicing four elements meditation, when walking also you must try to understand four elements. When standing, when sitting, when lying down, in every body posture you should try to understand four elements. Hmm? You must concentrate on four elements of the only. This is Gochra Sambhachana. If you are practicing casinas in the same way, hmm? if you are practicing white casina, in every bodily posture you must do white casina. This is Gochra Sambhachana. Other commentators also say. Hmm? So among 40 meditative samatha meditative subjects, hmm? you can choose anyone. Before you are going to Vipassana stage, then you should do in every day value you must do. If you want to go to Vipassana directly, four elements in meditation is in every day value. This is necessary. Hmm? You must practice four elements in meditation system very well. Other than only you can go to Vipassana. But be careful. When you are practicing Samatha or Vipassana, you should not miss any many Kamatanas. You should not confuse. Hmm? If you are practicing Anabana, you should emphasize only Anabana in every bodily posture. Except maybe if there are poor protect meditation. Hmm? Poor protect meditation, if necessary, you can do occasionally only. But except this poor, you should not do any, any other. But while you are practicing Anabana, you should not go quickly without clear understanding the stages. If you go very, very quickly, then your jhana will be not clear jhana. If your jhana is not clear, then concentration cannot be, you cannot maintain your concentration for a long time. Within few minutes, if you go to five jhana, three jhana, five jhana, four jhana, okay, okay. This, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. So please be careful. To make sure, if you satisfy only, then you should go on another jhana. If you satisfy second jhana, then you should go to third jhana. So, such a medically you must practice. Hmm? You should not confuse any meditation subjects. Mm -hmm. In the same way, when you are practicing vipassana also, you should not try superficially. No, oh, I had with this, I didn't make medality. I had to be this, I didn't make medality. Oh, I had to study. To make the origination very easy. In this way you contemplate, this is not good. We are teaching system medically. You must this, I didn't make materiality clearly. You must this, I didn't make medality systems clearly. Hmm? You must this, to make the origination, at least two ways we, we teach, at least. Hmm? For those who want to practice more, five ways we teach. During the origination, there are five ways for that. After that, you must design 
This ultimate mentality, ultimate materiality, and their causes. By way of characterization, function, manifestation, and proximity cause. So they are in each mental factor, in each physical, uh, in each robot, they are different characteristics. Different function, different manifestation, different proximity cause. For example, at element. What is the characteristic of at element? In many subjects, especially Buddha emphasizes only characteristic of at at element two only. Kekala Krigata. Kekala is hardness. Krigata is roughness. Why? How soft maybe if you touch you can feel little bit hardness. Less hardness is called softness. So strong hardness is called hardness. So only they are always queen when you compare two objects, at that time only this is soft, this is hard. Mm. But how soft maybe if you touch, you can feel little bit hardness. So because of this reason, in some that Buddha emphasizes only to calculate and create the hardness and roughness. But in Abhidhamma, Buddha says six hardness, roughness, hardiness, softness, woodiness, lightness. Why? The listeners, especially Devas and Brahmas, their body is very soft. So because of this reason, if they distinguish hardness and softness, they will be understood clearly, because their body is very soft. In the same way, roughness and smoothness, heaviness and lightness, if they distinguish in this way only, they will understand clearly. Because of this reason, both are top and heavy. In Abhidhamma. Hmm? But in human world, usually many like Mahayana, Vada Sogda, and other women got Sogda, etc. Only Buddha taught Kakala Cricket. Hmm? So this is the characteristic of Art Ahimek. What is the function of Art Ahimek? The function of Art Ahimek is standing place of the uh, cocomatic materialities. For example, anti-gate glabba. If you analyze anti-gate glabba, there are three types of materiality. Art element, water element, fire element, wind element, gala, oda, flavor, nutritive essence, and light fragility, and ice transfer element. All the remaining, except art element, the remaining nine <coughs> robust hmm, materialities arise depending on art element. Without art element, they cannot arise. They must stand on the element. Art element is like ground. So now we are all standing on the ground. If there is no ground, we cannot stand. So standing place, this is called the dysfunction. What is it is manifestation? When a meditator descends this art element, he will see oh, this is a data na rasa. Somebody chana, yes, okay. Somebody chana, which you get hana, somebody chana, oh. This art element is receiving up the remaining concomitant materialities within the same club. If this is maybe standing place, others are about, for example, hmm? others are about this is below. Then others are, the art element receive others, nine, hmm. to appear. So this is a receiver, as a receiver. Hmm? Hmm. The proximity goes, what is proximity goes? The remain, within one club, but there are four elements. The remaining three elements, water element, Fire element, wind element, these are proximate cause. Mm. Without water element, without fire element, without wind element, art element alone cannot rise. Mm. You can see this art. Mm. There is wetness. Mm. There may be heat and cold. Mm. Fire element, there is water element. There is 
always movement. So this is one element. So with the, the remaining three elements, are elements alone cannot arise. So in this way, you must discern every middle panda as well as every robot. By way of characteristic, manifest, uh, function, manifestation, and proximate cause. Without discerning these four ways, four types, you are inside understanding or you are understanding knowledge of ultimate mentality and materiality will be not clear. So in this way also you must teach. You must uh, you must learn. After that only you can go to Vipassana. So if you go to Dalai Vipassana, okay, all are nicha, 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 nicha. You are inside knowledge cannot produce for realization of Nibbana. Mm -hmm. Because it's just only superficial. Mm -hmm. In the same way, while walking also, if you want to do this uh, real ultimate mentality and materiality, then please stand up in one corner of the walking path. Please try meditation and maybe concentrate on a bana or maybe any jhana. Hmm? Up to fourth jhana stage. For example, you, if you are practicing anabana, then you should try anabana again up to fourth jhana stage. Coming up from fourth jhana, you should design ultimate materiality the whole body, throughout the body. Four, eh? You should design four elements. When you see calabas, you should analyze. Eh? Especially emphasize here, heart place. Then you should try to move. That consciousness, you should try. Eh? You, you decide, I will go. That consciousness, you should try to discern. And if you can discern that consciousness, okay? You must discern that consciousness produce many mind produce materiality. This mind produce materiality is spread throughout the body. For easy understanding, we are saying spreading throughout the body only. Really, everywhere they are producing. Because every kalaba has no leg. They cannot walk. <laughs> As soon as they rise, they pass away in their own place. So, from here, they do not go to there, 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 there. But because of this power of consciousness, everywhere mind produced material is rising and passing. You should try to see this small body gas. And then, after that, please analyze this small body gas. There are eight types. Hmm? Among eight types, when element is predominant further, that when element produces bodily intimation, moving manner, hmm? mm -hmm. that bodily intimation you should try to see. And then, together with that bodily intimation, that when element carry the, the whole body or the whole robust, four types of robust, hmm? karma produces materiality, mind produces materiality, temperature produces materiality, nutrient essence produces materiality. Then together, you should try to see these two types of rubas, carrying ruba, be carried ruba. Carrying ruba, be carried ruba. In this way you should try. And then again go back. Mentality. Which produces this movement. This is mind of cognitive process. When you are discerning ultimate mentality, mentality at the time, this mind also can produce bodily movement. That mind of cognitive process taking all your ultimate materiality as object. So that mind of cognitive process usually number one, mind of advantage consciousness. Then seven, jivana impartial mind movements. These seven angels are very important. These seven jivana impartial mind movements, last is most important. The preceding Six are uh, supporting cause. Last is to produce for uh, produce bodily movement. Mm -hmm. So this such type of mind of cognitive process rise and pass with many 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 times. So many 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 mind of cognitive pro pro uh, processes can produce bodily movement only. So that mind of cognitive process together with associated mental formations are called nama. Carrying ruba and being carried ruba, these two are ruba. So you must decide 
In this way, you must do. If you can do in this way, Buddha says, again, Vekus, a Veku understands. Hmm? When walking, he understands, I'm walking. When standing, he understands, I'm standing. When sitting, he understands, I'm sitting. When lying down, he understands, I'm lying down. Only Nama Rupa mentality, materiality, we must listen. But not yet things. Another sentence, this sentence has many arguments. Yata yata wa banasa kayo banihi do ho di da 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 nam bachanati. What is the meaning? Or he also understands. However, his body is disposed. So he must try to understand however his body is disposed. What is the meaning? Previously, Buddha thought four bodily posture separately. Now, four bodily posture together only. Wherever, whenever, however you dispose your body, you should try to discern ultimate mentality, mentality in the same way only. This is the meaning. So, while walking, what, do, what you should do to understand? While walking, you must try to understand ultimate mentality and eh? materiality. If it is so, why Buddha talk the last sentence? Data data wa panasa kayo pani hito ho di. Data data na ba jana di. So because of this reason, sub-commentary explain another way of explanation. Before Buddha emphasizes only carrying rupa, hmm? mind produce materiality. If he emphasizes to discern mind produce materiality, which is carrying the whole body, the whole rupa, then slowly he will understand be carried materiality also. But in this case, again, please emphasize be carried rupa. Hmm? Be carried rupa only he must emphasize. If he emphasizes eh, this and be carried in Rupa, slowly he will also understand carrying Rupa also. So both vice versa. You must try both vice versa. In this way, Buddha, Buddha wants to explain to show the same area, the same matter. Because of this reason, Buddha taught two ways. This is subcommentary explanation. So in the same way, within Monastery, when you are going, walking also, you must try in the same way to this element, mentality, materiality. Then, a big Gandhi, Bhatik Gandhi, Sambat Chanakari Hodi. A big who is one who acts in full awareness when going forward or in Radhani. When you run down, in the same way, walking, and then coming back, in the same way you must do what? You, you must do in the same way what? You must do some uh, ademic mentality, ademic materiality, carrying rubber, be carried rubber, in the same way. Okay? Then another. Aloki de, we loki de, sambat janat gari hodi. Who acts in full awareness when, look, when looking forward, looking ahead, and when looking sideways? So looking forward is like that. When looking sideways is this, this, what she is doing, what she is telling. In this way you do. Huh? Other than also you should try to design a limit mentality, materiality. Oh, yeah, my. Consciousness rise to look forward. Hmm? That consciousness you should try to discern. Then that consciousness produce your eye to to see to let see forward. Hmm? So that movement you should try to see here eye. Hmm? Your eye legs hmm? maybe moving. Hmm? And then then you should try to discern here mind produce materiality first. 
this consciousness produces this movement. Hmm? That mind produces materiality. There are eight types of materiality. Among eight types, <coughs> there is one element. This is very dominant pattern. That one element produces your eye and le- 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 hmm? yeah. legs movement. So this movement is bodily intimation only. Together with bodily animation, that way element produce looking your eye forward or sideways. Hmm? And this so this is uh, mind produce materiality, be carrying materiality. But you must also try again to design, be carrying materiality. You are I'm bo. Mm-hmm. If you design four elements systematically, you can see only a group of small particles, calabas. These calabas, if you in, Analyze there are six types of clubbers only. Eye decay clubber, body decay clubber, sex decay clubber, uh, mind produce or dead clubber, temperature produce or dead clubber, nutritive essence produce or dead clubber. So altogether six clubbers, 54 rubas. They are big carried rubas. Yeah, you are. He, this consciousness produces your eye movement. This is called carrying rupa. Mm. Both types of rupa you must design. And then again you must design mm. ultimate mentality here. Mind or cognitive process. So when you are looking forward, um, Bhagavad, or looking side, hmm? sideways, at that time also you should design ultimate mentality, eh? ultimate materiality. Then another <coughs> Samanji de Basari de Sampan Janakari Hodi. A Vigu is one who acts in full awareness <coughs> while placing eh? uh, extending his lips. Placing eh? extending <coughs> his lips. Mm-hmm. So here, placing. You should try to design four elements here. You should try to design four elements, then you can see clubbers. You should analyze these clubbers. And then here, please design my consciousness, which is produce bending, which produce stretching. Hmm? That consciousness <coughs> produce mind, produce materiality. <coughs> when element is predominant pattern? That way, element produces body intimation. That intimation. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Then, together with that way, element, carry the whole robust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you are here, there are 44 types of robust. These four types of robust karma, temperature, mind, nutritive assets. Four types of Produce, four types of causes produce material. All pre- materialities are precarious rupa. Mm-hmm. You should try mm-hmm. to see both. Yeah. Samanji de, Fasari de, Flashing and Stretching your lips. In the same way, when you are stretching and bending and stretching your legs, you can do in the same way. Hmm? So you must take some ultimate materiality, ultimate materiality. Another is Sangadi Pada Jivara Dharani Sambha Janakari Hodi. Vingu is one who acts in full awareness while wearing his robes and carrying his outer robe and bows. Now we are going for arms now. And the day, and the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the day also we are trying to do this uh, ultimate majority. <laughs> <laughs> so, in detail, if you bring it slowly, 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 then you will understand this meaning. Hmm? So, Mahasri Prana, what is Mahasri Prana? This is very important. If you understand only just superficial, your way of practice will be superficial only. If you understand deeply according to the meaning of Buddha's teaching, and that, that only you can practice systematically. Hmm? Then another one is uh, ACDPD and Salvatore. 
A big good is one who acts in full awareness when when eating, drinking, consuming food, and tasting. So when eating also, how he should do, what he must understand. In the same way, here, put one thing, you choose, there are, push it, hmm? push it. Hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness, flow and cohesion, etc. Four elements are present. You can get some four elements. Hmm? Then you can see here the whole head or the whole body are the materiality. And then you should design here mind, which is ED. Hmm? Uh, mind produces ED. That consciousness you should try to design. That consciousness produces many clubbers up to this area. Hmm? Up to this area, my produce materiality. Among this my produce materiality, there is weight element. That weight element is predominant for that. It produces bodily intimation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 bodily intimation. This intimation is produced by. Hmm? That intimation carries the whole robust. Here, here, in this area, there are 44 robots. Hmm? Kama produce materiality, mind produce materiality, temperature produce materiality, nutrient produce materiality. These photos of materialities are here. These robots, this what uh, element of mind produce materiality, carrying robot, carrying, as if chewing, as if eating, as uh, consuming, hmm? consuming any food, or as tasting. Hmm? So in this way they are producing. So here you should design uh, materiality. And then again you should design here mentality. Which, which produce to eat or to consume, etc. Mm -hmm. So both, what is this eating? You must do what? You must design ultimate mentality, mm -hmm. ultimate materiality. Okay? Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> Not yet finished. Another. Oh, Shara, Basawa, Kami, Samba, Jana, Kodi, Kari, Kodi. A big good is one who acts in full awareness when defective day in urine day. Oh, when did they book that talk? When defective day or urine day, when element is predominant for that. When when push. And that they only they come up. <laughs> <laughs> when wind is to not push, they will not come up. So that wind element is produced by mind. It's basically predominant pattern. This is carrying rubber. The whole uh, duct or the whole urine carry up. Hmm? So this is carrying rubber. We carry rubber, but that carrying rubber is always associated with other rubas. We can say we carry ruba. Kama produce medinadi, temperature produce medinadi, mind produce medinadi, nutrient essence produce medinadi. But they together, they are one element or together, they together defecate my urine. Because of this reason, you should try, especially when you are defecating, if they go up. This is only temperature produced materially only. Mm -hmm. Temperature produced materially means if you get some four elements in that hmm, gang or urine, you can see only a group of small body gas. This small body gas, if you analyze, there are only eight types. Among eight types, there is temperature. That temperature produces another new generation, successfully for a long time. So they are only nutritive um, temperature produced materially only. They are also big carried robot, <laughs> not carrying robot. Huh? Mm -hmm. So these robots you must design. And then again, you should design ultimate mentality here, especially my dog cognitive process. But other dog cognitive process also you can design, no problem. No problem means when you are defecting, smell is very good or not. <laughs> 
So you can decide the other day, oh, no stop. <laughs> Cognitive process, you can decide. Sometimes you may hear any sound, you can decide. I do cognitive, yeah, do cognitive process. You may see anything, mm? you can decide. I do cognitive process also. No problem at that time. If you are designing a little mentality, mentality, when you are disagreeing also, you can be a sort of banana. Because you are practicing always. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you are always practicing. If you can design a little mentality, mentality in this way, it is very beneficial, <coughs> very repressive at that time. Although repressive, if you can practice with us in a system medically, it is very beneficial. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. very good. Hmm? Then another is what? Another is Kede Kide Nisene Sogi Jagridi Sambachana Karikoti. Kede Kide Nisene Sogi Jagridi Vasidi Dungi Bawi Sambachana Karikoti. Kede may be walking. Kede standing. When, when walking, when standing, when sitting, and when falling asleep, and waking up. And then Vasida, when talking, when talking. Hmm? And then uh, talking about when keeping silence. Hmm? You must try to understand and remain mentality, mentality. This is small movement. Hmm. When you are sitting also, you may move forward a little bit. Um, maybe move back up a little bit. This, this type of uh, going forward in eh? Ratani. This type, at the time also you should try to do some argument mentality, eh? mentality. But there is another problem. <coughs> when you are falling asleep, how you can do some argument mentality, mentality because you are sleeping? The reason is that before you are sleeping, hmm? You can do some argument, mentality, mentality. Maybe you may fall asleep, no problem. As soon as you wake up, you can do some argument, mentality, mentality again. When you are practicing with Vasana, maybe somebody did that also inform me. When they are practicing Anabana, before they are sleeping, they can pay attention to Anabana, they made that very bright. Mm -hmm. They fall asleep. As soon as they wake up, they can see Nimida is here. So this such type of way. Mm -hmm. Another way is after when you wake up, other than also you can reflect. While sleeping, other than argument, mentality, mentality, you can get some no problem. And then when you wake up, other than also suddenly you must get some argument, mentality, eh? mentality. In the same way, while you are talking, there are also, at that time also, you should try to design argument, mentality, materiality. How you get this? Uh, here, consciousness, which hmm, I only talk, hmm? consciousness, I only talk, rise. Hmm. That consciousness you should try to see. Hmm? When that consciousness produce, mind produce calabas many. This mind produce calabas are spreading throughout the body, hmm? but especially this area, predominant. Here, coming up from here, huh? you want to talk. Huh? So at the time, here, your lips, little bit movement. That mind produce medially, produce this movement. How? Huh? In that mind produce medially, there is weight element. This is predominant pattern. That weight element produce bodily intimation movement. Huh? In the same way, verbal intimation here, yeah. mm -hmm. making sound. Mm -hmm. How make sound makes here? Yeah, I want to explain here. Mm -hmm. If you can listen in this area, four elements, you can see here four types of materiality. Mind produce materiality, temperature produce materiality, uh, karma produce materiality, mind produce materiality, temperature produce materiality, mm -hmm. nutritive essence produce materiality, four types of materiality. Among these four types, in each color, but there is art element. The art element is around this area, very clear. Among these art element, karma produce art element is predominant pattern. Here, mind, 
Do you want to adopt something? Yeah, my brother choose material becoming successfully here. Up to this. In fact, my brother use material just a element. Among this, uh, uh, my brother use material just also one element. That one element push the art element. That art element in here, four types of art element attached to each other. So because of this reason, they begin sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here, Patui, Patui, they push because of one element. So sound coming. In the same way here, you are telling, other than also, in this area also art element. Four types of art element. Among four types of art element, Karma produced art element is predominant factor. Why? This voice or her voice is very good. This voice, her voice is not good. Sound is very good. Some person's sound is very sweet. Some person's sound is not sweet. Why? That art element, karma produced art element is predominant factor. There is maybe wooden gong. Would you come to you know, wooden gong? Mm -hmm. If you start, if wooden gong is very hard and very good quality, then if you strike, sound is very good. But wooden gong is not so, so hard. <laughs> Maybe many, many spaces. Mm -hmm. If you strike, sound will be not okay. Mm -hmm. In the same way, wooden gong is, come and produce materiality, is like solid wooden gong. Mm -hmm. Good wood quality. So, if karma produce art element is very good, then song will be very good. My produce art element is like what layer, 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 Four types of materiality, especially karma produced materiality is predominant pattern. Okay? The other that also you should try to discern this argument materiality as well as argument materiality. Okay? So because of this reason, every bodily posture, when you are practicing anapana, you should try anapana only. Up to four channel stage. Hmm? After that, if you design ultimate mentality material, then you can try ultimate to design ultimate mentality and materiality. But this is not the end of this chapter. Buddha continue another week in Vasana. In the Ijada Vagaya Gaya Nubasi, we heard the Vaidha Vagaya Gaya Nubasi, we heard the Ijada Vaidha Vagaya Gaya Nubasi, we heard it. In this way, a Bhikkhu, he is contemplating <coughs> body as a body internally. He is, or he is contemplating body as a body externally, or he is contemplating body as a body internally and externally. So, you must decide argument whether the material internally and externally in the same. Then, Samudhya Dhamadu Basiva Gaya Samay Vuharanti, Vaya Dhamadu Basiva Gaya Samay Vuharanti, Samudhya Vaya Dhamadu Basiva Gaya Samay Vuharanti. So, sing like Anabana says You must try to discern, hmm? or you must contemplate. Samudhya hmm? Dhamma Nubhasi. The rising nature, the, uh, you must contemplate in the body its nature of rising, or its nature of dissolution, or both its nature of rising and dissolution. And then you must continue Bhengatnana, etc. Huh? Only di just based dissolution, and then slowly, when you are inside Bhikkhu, Mijua, eh? you are at the end of your inside knowledge, part and fruition knowledge will arise. That part and fruition knowledge will realize Nibbana. If you break this system medically, one day you may attain Rasha. Hmm? And then, then, all developments will be destroyed by your part knowledge. Hmm? But it's that's fine. That's fine is part. Holy light is lit. What has, what had to be done has done. There is no more for this state of being. There is no more 
practice to ending hardship. This is the end of our holy life. So, if you practice both bodily posture meditation as well as clear comprehension meditation, system medically up to Vipassana stage, you can ending hardship. Okay, to the finish, mm-hmm. you can discuss. Any question? I'm wondering about the, the role, Sayadaw, of, of intention. The Buddha said kama amongst intention is kama. So. Yes, this is in one of the Nkotra Nikaya. That intention, they translate many chirna only. Oh. Chirna is kama. But that chirna, they translate intention. Sometimes they translate position. Yeah. What is chirna is kama is. Usually when you are not accumulating wholesome dhammas, hmm? wholesome dhammas is, for example, you are practicing anapana. You are po- focusing on the natural breath, concentration breathing, for example. And then there are 34 mineral patterns. Among these 34, chirna is predominant pattern. Hmm. From how it began predominant pattern? That chirna is uh, ash, hmm? associated mandala formations to pay attention to the breath object. Because of this jirna, jirna itself also pay attention to the breath object. Hmm. Associated mandala formations also, it ash, hmm? Hmm. ash, hmm? say sorry, not to be able to do Ash to pay attention to this only one object. Hmm. So because of this jirna, your work can be successful. But if there is no chitana, it is not easy. Okay. So because of this reason, when this wholesome karma produces any hazard, mm. that chitana is important. If your chitana is very strong, effect is very strong. If chitana is very weak, effect will be very weak. <coughs> In the same way, when you are doing a wholesome, when you are accumulating a wholesome karma also in the same way. Mm. But among these chitanas, but chitana is the highest jitana, because this produce, it is reza without interruption, mm-hmm. agalika, huh? mm-hmm. agalika, there is no interval time. Mm-hmm. So that part jitana can destroy the final stage by stage. This is also one reason. Another reason is that part jitana cannot produce any future existence. Mm-hmm. Is it good? <laughs> Very good. If one jirana produces future is this, this, then you must, there is jhati path, there may be jira or there may be jhati sickness, there may be death, marana. Because if there is future is this, this, but that path jirana cannot produce any future is this, this. If there is no existence, you will not, there will be no path, no decay, no disease, no death. Is that cool? Okay. <laughs> Any question? Sayadaw, um, bodily intimation and verbal intimation are listed separately. Yes. And I don't understand the distinction between them. <coughs> Separately, they are mentioned, but they are maybe A, B, C, etc. Then this is also together with bodily intimation. Mm-hmm. But bodily intimation alone cannot produce right sovereign. So verbal intimation also necessary. Mm-hmm. Verbal intimation is coming up from here. Bodily intimation also coming up from here. But they are usually separately means they are not real rupas. They rise depending on real rupas. Mm. For example, this finger, this is okay. If you pay attention poorly, means it's dramatically here, you can see 44 types of rupas. Huh? Five types of color bars. But this one, this one. This uh, temporarily only this arise depending on this real rupas. So because of this reason, they are not real rupas. Mm-hmm. They are intimation only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Call communication. Mm -hmm. um, and, and a second question along the same line. Um, mentally produced um, kalapas are the reason that we perceive movement. Yes. Are the kalap the kalapas with the um, predominant wind element? Are they the Cause and condition of further kalapas, or are all kalapas? Do all kalapas have the mentality as their um, cause and condition? Mentality. Mentality. Mm -hmm. Maybe one because Chaitan Vayan Chenidi comment this explanation. Chaitan Vayan Chenidi mind produce what element? So subcommentary explains not only one element because rubas rest as a kalapa only. So main produce kalapa and that kalapa one element is predominant for that only. That predominant one element produce bodily intimation. This is also mm. not really true because one element alone cannot produce mm. bodily intimation. What the other three elements, what element alone cannot produce for the intimation? Mm -hmm. So, art element, water element, fire element, wet element, <coughs> all together only can produce for the intimation. Because they are ubada rupa, derivative rupa. Derivative rupa means they rest depending on four elements only. Mm -hmm. But, in this case, both are taught, predominant for that only. If you design, yeah, my. If you design here four elements, says Ramadigali, breath is nothing but a group of small particles. These particles, if you analyze, there are nine types of material. D. Nine types of material D means earth element, water element, fire element, wet element, gala, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, and breathing sound. In one club, there is art element. In another club, there is art element. Because of weight element, they adapt to each other. So when they begin sound. So together with sound, there are nine types of body. They are produced by mind. But without body, mind alone cannot produce. So because of this reason, in every valley, body also another supporting cause. No. This is also another supporting cause. <laughs> but when you are bragging, say, Anabana, Indiana is my produce material as well as Nimeda. Nimeda is Anabana Nimeda. That Nimeda, Indiana is my produce material because white color, <coughs> as well as temperature produce material. But if the Nimeda is shiny, Abdul, outside, the outside area, Nimeda is. Temperature produce materiality only. That temperature is not outside temperature. That temperature means in my produce materiality there is Tejo element, fire element. That fire element is called temperature. That temperature produces new generation. But that generation is not only inside but also outside. So because of this reason you can see here Nimeda outside. This Nimeda is temperature produce materiality only. Any question? Uh, energy and the vitality is very important for our life. Yes. Uh, is energy also included in the temperature kalapa? Also, it also is also included in all eight type kalapas. Yes. But vitality <coughs> is basically external vitality is a strong powerful supporting cause. <coughs> In my <coughs> Kama produce material, there is also nutritive essence, vitality. My produce material also there is nutritive essence, vitality. 
Temporary temperatures, Kalamba also has vitality, nutritive assets. But the can produce new generation for the external nutritive assets support. And digestive failure also support. If there is no external <coughs> nutritive assets, they alone cannot produce new generation. If they cannot produce new generation, very soon we will die. So external nutritive essence supporting cause is also necessary. So if <coughs> previously I had this here new food coach. Hmm? If you did some poor elements in this coach, you can see what is nothing but a group of small particles. These small particles, if you analyze in each particle, there are eight types of material. Among eight types, there is nutritive essence. That nutritive essence is supported by digestive fire, fire element, and life nodic lava. When the digestive fire support, that nutritive essence produces new generation. In that generation, there is also nutritive essence. That nutritive essence support another to karma produce nutritive essence, temperature produce nutritive essence, mind produce nutritive essence, okay? another nutrient produce nutritive essence, together with digestive fire. At that time only new generations are coming up. That's throughout the body. At that time only this body can be hmm? vitality can maintain this body for a long time. So there is always constant, uh, in the Kalapas, there's constant contact, which is constantly reinforcing yes, yes. grasping on a very subtle level? Yes, yes. Subtle level means, especially according to our hmm, community's explanation, one meal can produce for seven days. <laughs> now you are eating every day, so many, many, many generations. <laughs> Can Saito explain how some people have managed to train themselves to support the body only with breathing, not taking water, not taking food? How that they can support the life process in this way? They are maybe also they are gamma and then so hmm? they are gamma as well as also maybe external supporting cause. External supporting cause means maybe, yeah, for example, when it blooming, for example, hmm? although when, when is, if you can analyze when, when is only a group, a very subtle group of small body gas. Among these body gas, there is also nutritive assets. Here also digestive fire. Hmm. That digestive fire support, that Nutritive as also can be spread like Bemisara. Do you know? Bemisara, again Bemisara. Mm. When he was present, eh? there's no food. Eh? Cut all food. Eh? Then his eh? wife, eh? his wife carrying food. And Jada said to prohibit all. Then how she do? She rub uh, Bada to her body. And then Bemisara lay. Eh? What? Leg. <laughs> Leg with his time. Eh? So from this also can spread a little bit only. But it depends on their own karma and then so. So they're taking new to the from from the air. They are also possible no. way. But they are maybe they also may drink some people, but I'm not sure. But such persons are some very, very strange because of their strange karma only. Mm -hmm. Their karma can maintain their lives for maybe for a long time and then so. Mm -hmm. Do you have a book that you have written on this subject? 
Yes, yes, maybe original translation only. No commentary. Commentary we cannot bring because very heavy. Say those books. Yes, maybe uh, my, one of my disciples is at the day, not yet finished. <laughs> because I'm trying this tomato in Pina maybe two or three years ago. He is at the day, not yet finished, partially only finished. Then if it is finished, they will put it up. They will publish. Okay. <laughs> Does a person do uh, all this, what you described tonight, until the end of their life, or is that process stopped after, let's say, the vipassana uh, um, work? Maybe I do not understand your question. Uh, if someone takes your course. Uh, okay and goes through this process. Yeah, okay. Then they finish with the course. But it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say... Uh, no? Maybe in our Buddha's teaching, finish means when you begin Arahat. <laughs> so we cannot say finish. But we teach up the Vipassana says it is true. So, so someone like you, teacher, you may go through this process every or day. You shouldn't ask Const people like such questions. Maybe oh. there, there may be somebody that is hoping mm. to this practice. Mm. Okay, sorry. Mm. You should try to show a vision. Hmm? <laughs> to, to show what, right? A vision. What? A vision. A vision. To prove. To prove. To prove. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. okay. Whether this is true or not, you should try. Hmm? <laughs> uh, Challenge. One more question. Uh, about meditation, uh, some meditator can float in the air, which is against uh, gravity. Mm. Uh, can any uh, kalapa against the uh, uh, gravity of uh, earth uh, that lead into the floating of the yogi uh, when they in deep meditation? Maybe not really floating, but they, they feel as if floating only. Mm -hmm. Because at the, the wind element is very strong. The earth element? Wind element. Wind element is predominant better because of this reason. They feel float as if floating, not real floating. Not real floating? Real floating is if you do such power, <laughs> direct knowledge, hmm? mm -hmm. to fly in the sky. <laughs> Maybe you should try being seen as in academics in body ways other than if you have enough barami then you may try. Maybe another way is maybe when you are meditating other than strong powerful rapture piti rise. That piti also can produce what sublime um, my produce materiality, very superior, my produce materiality. And then they, among these calabas, wet element is very strong. Mm. So because of this wet element also, sometimes they may flow. Mm. But in uh, commentary, there is one story, but it will be very difficult. Hmm? Maybe there is one lady who has pregnant. She went to, they asked, well, according to their culture, on the top of mountain, they asked what festival, Buddha Bhutaniya festival. Hmm? So she also went to go to that mountain, Pagura. But her parents do not permit her because she, she had a pregnant. Because of this reason, but from her house, her, he, and she heard, hmm? she heard the chanting voices in the Pagura. So she gained a lot of beauty, other than she reflect Buddha's qualities, she got a, a lot of beauty. Because of this beauty, her body fly in the sky and she <laughs> go, go, won't do that yet. But it will be a very rare story. And <laughs> Okay. 
question and there is no question there that that stop to this thing. For those who didn't get a copy, there will be more copies coming tomorrow. discuss about 11 types of imperfections. One day, Buddha visited to Venerable Nuroga and his accompanies Nadia and Kimila. And then, then Venerable Nuroga is trying for divine and sex power. Later, when he began Raha, he is the foremost disciple among those who have exercised, who, who exercised divine and sex power. So before he began Raha, after that began, began Sodabana, hmm? he practiced this divine and sex power. <coughs> He can perceive the light in vision of forms. But so after what? The light in the vision of forms disappear. Why this? Why the light in the form of uh, the vision of forms? Uh, why did the light and the vision of forms disappear, he do not understand the cause. So he informed his difficulties to the Buddha. And then the Buddha explained the imperfections. He, this is the uh, 11 types of imperfections. These 11 types of imperfections are our Buddha Buddha's experience before his enlightenment. When he is practicing meditation in Uruvela, he gave up ascetism or Oscar, self modification practice. Then he did raw food, make his body strong. At that day, he practiced Samatha in Vipassana. He practiced Tengasinas in Ademis. He practiced Anabana Abdu Chana. Especially, he practiced at that day, five mundane sex power. Among five mundane sex power, divine and sex power is one. When he is practicing divine and sex power, he also discovered the light and the vision of forms. 
But so of there was the light in the vision of forms disappear. Why this problem appear in him? He's reflect he especially he investigates the cause. He sees number one cause is doubt. When doubt arose in him, his concentration fell away. When his concentration fell away, the light in the vision of forms disappear. He discovered the cause and condition for this for the disappearance of the light in vision of forms. What is doubt? <laughs> this is important. I want to explain a little bit more. <coughs> if one meditator wants to practice divine eye, such power, first he should try and think the sinners in eight attainments. Especially later he should emphasize eight casinas, pran at casina to white casina. <coughs> in each casina up to eight, eight attainments, he must practice in 40 ways. If you want to understand for the words, then please try to see Visodhi Maga, the path of purification. <coughs> After that, he must choose one casino among three. Three is number one is Tejo Casino, Paya Casino. Number two is Odada Casino, White Casino. Number three is Aloga Casino, Light Casino. Among these three, light casino is the best. For example, if a meditator choose light casino, then he should try taking light, maybe such as light. Hmm? Taking light, he should try light casino up to fourth channel. But he must try this again and again. When his fourth channel produces a strong powerful light at the time, coming up from fourth channel, he should spread this light casino up to limited area. For example, one compound. Hmm? <coughs> he should spread this light within one compound. And then he should concentrate on that light again. But not up to port channel stage. Up to excess concentration stage of port channel. Then Imagine from that excess concentration, he should do. Let, let there be light here. Within this area, the light must be hmm? within fixed area. So if he do in this way, a data resolution. After that, he should try to look to see to concentrate on that light. Then a strong powerful concentration will arise. At that time, he can try to see within this limited area different objects. What are different objects? There are maybe animals, there are maybe petas, ghosts, huh? there are maybe yakas, demons, there are maybe devas, there are maybe human beings, there are maybe animals. When he is <coughs> seeing these different beings, different objects, at the day, doubt arose. Why? What doubt? What, what are these objects? Oh, they are men or women. They are animal or ghosts. They are demon or deva, etc. In this way, he cannot decide well, because this is past experience. So when that doubt is appear, then because of this talk or investigation of investigation, then slowly concentration will fall away. When concentration fell away, then the light of, the light and the vision of forms will disappear. In the same way, this is one example. When you are practicing anapana, for example, you may see like oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Oh, light is coming from here. Oh, it is Nimita or no? Oh, light is coming from here. Is it Nimita or no? 
You should not investigate. Hmm? If you have such doubt, this is problem. Another doubt is, oh, this is real Nimitta or not? In this way, if you have doubt, this is also problem. <coughs> but you should not investigate other than just focus only breath. When you are focusing on the breath only, when your concentration develops further, the breath will become Nimitta. The breath will begin the middle, means the breath coming off from the nose tree will begin with color. Maybe such as gray smoking color, or maybe white color, or maybe brighter color. Hmm? Bright color. So one type of color would come off together with breath from the nose tree. At the day, when the, we call this is the middle, hmm? Nimitta means the sign of concentration. When at that time, if you concentrate on that Nimitta quickly, then it will disappear because your concentration is not yet so strong enough to maintain this Nimitta. So at that time, you should focus only on the natural breath only. When you are focusing on the natural breath, mind automatically stick to that Nimitta. At that time, you should concentrate on the Nimitta only. No investigation, no doubt. <laughs> if you have a lot of doubts, then your concentration will pass away. When your concentration pass away, fall down, then falls down, then the lack or the limit that will disappear. This is one imperfection. In the same way, while you are practicing four elements meditation, white color may appear here, for example. <laughs> when concentration develops further. Oh, this is real white or no? <laughs> this is real, not real. In this way, if you have doubt, this is also a problem. Hmm? You must concentrate on four elements only. But when you are focusing hmm, four elements of that, especially when you are overviewing the whole body, hmm? at the day, the whole body be usually becomes white. What is this white? for past experience. Yeah? What is this word? Why body begin white? In this way, if you have doubt, this is also problem. Problem is your concentration will fall down. So because of this reason, at that day, your responsibility is to focus on four elements of the only. If you can concentrate on four elements thoroughly, then White color is not, white form is nothing but only a group of four elements. You will understand. But if you un, do not understand other than only when you are concentration also stable and white form also stable about half hour. Other than only you should try to design a special the whole body hardness in white form hardness, the whole body hardness in white form hardness. In this way, you should change. And then, if you understand in that white form, hardness, then please increase another one, hardness and roughness. The whole body, as usual, you should be in this hardness and roughness. In that white form, hardness and roughness. In this way, slowly increase up to 12 characteristics. Then you should focus four elements in that white form. Why, what is white form? Before you are seeing transparent body, when your concentration is not yet enough to penetrate transparent body, other than you can see the white form only. But if you can concentrate further on that white form, four elements of that, then slowly that white form will change transparent body into transparent body. Your whole body will become transparent. Other than also, you should have no doubt. What is this transparent body? What is transparent? In this way, you should not investigate. In that transparent body, also you should try to understand to the sample elements a bit. If you can concentrate thoroughly, you will understand that this transparent body is nothing but a group of four elements. What is transparent? Four elements transparent only. Transparent body of four elements only. In the whole body, if you touch, you can feel touching sensation. Everywhere is body transparent element. 
Everywhere, if you touch, if you know touching sensation, if you feel touching sensation, in that place there is transparent body element. So this body, transparent body element is throughout the body only. Before you can break down the compactness of transparent body, and then as a group you see only transparent body, as transparent body. If you pay attention, if you can discern space in that transparent body, then you can see small body just So at the day, if you have a lot of investigation or a lot of doubt, then this is your concentration will fall, fall down. When your concentration falls away, then that transparent body and light also will be disappear. So doubt is very, uh, you should not accept. This is number one, imperfection. Number two, imperfection is in addition. In addition means, at the day, when I remember the Lord, our body center is practicing divine and sex power. Within limited area, there are different objects. He do not pay addition to these different objects. But he did pay for it, he does pay addition. And then a little bit wondering mind. <laughs> a little bit wondering mind. If he do not pay addition to these different types of forms, huh? mm. then his concentration will fall away. Mm. Will fall away. Then when concentration fell away, then the light and the vision will dis disappear. Mm. In the same way, while you are practicing anabana, there may be limited. Although there may be limited, your mind is wandering to home, mm. to sons, or to daughters, or to US dollars. If your mind is wandering in this way, limited cannot be stable. Because concentration falls down. Because your concentration on the limited or on the breath of that produce this limited. When you are present, you are mind changed to different objects. Then concentration fall, will fall down. When concentration falls down, this limiter will disappear. In the same way, when you are practicing four elements meditation, when you are concentrating four elements objects, at the day, if you are mind wander different objects, except from four elements, for example, here, pain. Oh, very difficult. <laughs> here, pain, here, pain. <laughs> Then your mind change different brain feelings. Hmm? This is restless mind. Hmm. Because except for elements of that, you should not be addition any other object. If you be addition any other object, then concentration on the four elements of that will fall down. Will fall down. When concentration falls down, then four elements of that also will disappear. <laughs> In the same way. When you are being addition for elements on that uh, four elements meditation, uh, when you are practicing four elements meditation, if you see white form or if transparent body, you should concentrate four elements of that transparent body. But at that time also, when your mind is wandering, then concentration will fall down. Because concentration on the four element object produce higher concentration, uh, uh, perceive this transparent body. You can perceive this transparent body because of the concentration on the four elements of the only. When your object change, then concentration will fall down. When con concentration falls away, then you cannot see this transparent body or white form. So, at the day, <coughs> in attention is also certain imperfection. Hmm? Except your meditation object, you should not be addition any other object. And number three is slow and toba. Slow and toba is when he is practicing within limited area. When he is practicing, he was practicing divine. Second power. Within limited area, 
when he is focusing the light and the vision of different forms. Other than slow and the dullness of mind, mind in middle of feathers, no eagerness at that time. So, because of this slow and doba, then his concentration fell away. When his concentration fell away, then the light and the vision of different forms will disappear. In the same way, when you are practicing anapana or four elements meditation, if sloth and doba appears, then your nimitta will disappear because concentration is very weak or concentration may fall down. So sloth and doba is also number three in perfection. Hmm? Number four is fear. What is fear? When he is practicing divine and sex power, he trying to see different objects. Other than very fearful demons he sees. Other than fear of fear. <laughs> fear of fear rose in him. Because he, see, he, may, he had never seen before such mm -hmm. fearful demons. In the same way, when you are practicing Anabana, some meditators And some meditators fear rose. Why? They never experience the such limita or such light. So when light is suddenly appear, they afraid. Oh. <laughs> they shake their body. Their mind is shaking. So then suddenly this light will disappear. So other than you should not be addition any light. In the same way when you are practicing four elements meditation also light may be appear. When light appears, other than you should not be addition light, you should focus only on four elements meditation object. Four elements object. <coughs> because concentration on the four elements object produces this light. In the same way, concentration on the breath object produces nimitta or produces light. If you are other than fear rose in you, <coughs> Then, because of this fear is one type of dosa, anger. Maybe this is we call, what called? Reduce anger. Mm. Or, um, somewhere. Mm. Mm, maybe I forget. Last night I remember this name. Hmm? So, regress, regress. <laughs> regress. <laughs> regress. Hmm? regress. This type of fear is called regress. Hmm? Mm. So, some meditators, when they are focusing on the nimitta, when mind completely sick inside nimitta, they are afraid. <laughs> this is also a problem, that fear. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So, because of this fear, their concentration falls away. When their concentration falls away, then this nimitta will disappear. In the same way, when they are practicing four elements meditation, also say, sometimes, in this case, but when you are practicing anabana or four elements meditation, especially excess concentration states, frequently you may fall into bhunga. When the mind stays appear successfully for a long time, at that time, you may feel you are uh, sinking into the water. <laughs> At that time, fear appears. Huh? So because of this reason, you don't want to concentrate more on the nimitta because you are afraid of this. So if you have fear, such type of fear, then concentration cannot develop further. So fear is uh, number four, imperfection. Huh? Number five is elation. Elation is at that time, when you are focused uh, maybe for our body side, when he is perceiving different objects within limited area, he did delay. He do not he don't want to do quickly thoroughly. So because of this reason his concentration fell away. Fell away. When his concentration fell away, 
The light and division of different forms also will disappear. In the same way, when you are practicing anambana or four elements meditation, if you cannot discern quickly or maybe barely, there may be elation, then concentration cannot develop further. Especially when you are practicing four elements meditation, uh, for example, pushing maybe about one minute, two minutes. Hardness about one minute, two minutes, very clear. Roughness one minute, two minutes. In this way, one character is one or two minutes, very clear, take a long time. Then concentration cannot develop further. So, quick discernment is necessary. But if you discern very, very quickly, then any characteristics will be not clear. So not too delay, not so quick. In the middle way, you must try to do some four elements. In the same way, breathing in, breathing out. <laughs> <laughs> if you delay in this way, concentration cannot develop further. <laughs> so not too quickly, not too slowly. <laughs> Please try. <laughs> mm. Then. Number, this is an elation is the uh, uh, fifth imperfection. Here, one example is M is seeking for one entrance hmm, to a hidden treasure. Suddenly, he when he sees suddenly five entrance, then what to do? He had nothing to do with elation, only suddenly he had a lot of elation. In the same way only. When you see Nimeda, then what to do? You had nothing to do. You had <laughs> elation. But you must do you must focus only on the next favorite only. This is your duty. Other than you forget to pay attention to the elation that arise. So such type of elation is imperfection. Mm -hmm. The another six is inertia. Inertia is laziness. Is mm -hmm. it true? Mm -hmm. Laziness, when you are practicing, oh, so that's laziness can. You don't want to meditate. <laughs> you don't want to concentrate on the four elements of that. You don't want to pay addition and abandon parallel. Because laziness overwhelms you to your mind. In the same way, our body said that is practicing the right way. At that time also, inertia appear occasionally because he is practicing successfully for six years, not two months. <laughs> <laughs> six years he is practicing successfully. Sometimes because of bodily tiredness, inertia appear. So when the, this inertia appears arose in him, then concentration fell away. When concentration fell away, the light and the vision of form disappear. In the same way also, if you have laziness, then concentration cannot develop further when you are practicing anabana or poor elements meditation. This is sixth hmm? imperfection. Now another is seventh imperfection is excess of energy. If you concentrate too hard, <coughs> then because of this excess energy, excess effort, then restless mind will appear. When restless mind appear, then concentration slowly will fall down. When concentration fall down, then Nimeda will disappear. You will not concentrate on the breath of the Harani. But our body said that when he is practicing the right and sex power, after that also he felt not too much. Because of this excessive energy or excessive effort, restless might appear in him. For example, if someone grip, hmm, grips a quail tightly, quail is a very small one, if he grasps tightly, quail will die. Mm -hmm. In the same way, because of excessive 
energy, mm. effort. Restless mind usually only because of restless mind concentration first talk. Felt weight, eh? When concentration felt weight, then the light and basin will disappear. In the same way, when you are practicing anabana or four elements meditation, four, four elements meditation, if you practice hardly, then restless mind will appear. Hmm? So, when restless mind appear, concentration also will fall down. So, this is also important. Hmm? This is Seven excess, uh, uh, excessive excess of energy is seventh imperfection. Then number eight is deficiency of energy. If your energy is very loose, then your concentration also will not improve because less energy produces laziness. So, do strong energy also not good. Do less energy also not good. The middle way is better. Hmm? If you catch quail, if you grip quail loosely, it will fly. <laughs> you cannot catch. In the same way, when, when you are paying attention on the breath of the or four elements meditation, if you pay attention loosely, hmm? Then ob you cannot concentrate on that object, you cannot catch that object thoroughly. So because of this reason, deficiency of energy also one type of imperfection. When our body started hmm? practicing divine and insect power, after that also sometimes he feel deficiency of energy because of this the physicity of energy, his concentration fell away. When his concentration fell away, the light and the position of the pulse disappear. This is number eight imperfection. Number nine is longing. It's better. Oh, no, more than two weeks. No, more than one week. I mean, that is not yet coming. <laughs> no, that is not yet coming. So oh, maybe no, maybe that do they come in this way? You should expect not too much. This is also not good. Hmm? This expectation is called nikanti. Nikanti is very subtle attachment. Very subtle attachment is a wholesome mind. A wholesome mind in wholesome mind cannot rise simultaneously within one mind moment. Because of this unwholesome mind, <coughs> your wholesome mind will decrease. Because two mind moments, two different types of mind moments cannot rise within one mind moment. Two different types of mind cannot rise within one mind moment together. So if wholesome mind moment is rising, then a wholesome mind moment cannot rise. When a wholesome mind, mo mind moment rises, at the time, also my moment disappear. So because of this reason, this longing is very subtle, legally attachment. A wholesome mind. Because of this, a wholesome mind, you are wholesome concentration falls down. When you are concentration falls down, then you cannot see you are nimitta or you are object parallel. In the same way, you cannot see your four elements of that parallel. In this case, for our body Bodhisattva, when he is practicing divine and sacred power, at that time, he expects different objects. Hmm? Except with limited, within limited area. Outside limited area, he pay at the same. I will see what I will see in this way. He pay attention. This is problem because of this expectation, hmm? longing. Hmm. Then his concentration first away. When they are practicing divine and such power, they should try to see the object within limited area only. Outside limited area, if they pay attention, this is called longing. Hmm? This longing is not good. Hmm. Then, this is one type of imperfection, ninth hmm? imperfection. Another is 
Perception of diversity. Hmm? Perception of diversity. Well, the for this in divine and set power within limited area, they will see different objects. That's why then they should not investigate too much. What is this color? What is this? And the this color, eye, eye color. What is head hair color? What is this body hair color? Etc. In this way, he should not pay attention. Perception of diversity. What is his name? What is what is her father? What is her mother? What is his parent? How they related to each other? Etc. In this way. If they pay attention to different perceptions, hmm? then concentration would fall away. When concentration fell away, the light and the vision will disappear. In the same way, when you are bright dancing on a banner, oh, Nimida is a million. Oh, this is yellow. This is golden color. Oh, <laughs> this is very good. Oh, this form is uh, white, uh, wrong, wrong. Oh, this form is love. In this way, you should not be addition color in the different forms. If you be addition color in different forms, when your perception change, they will change always. So there's so many data in Burma. Hmm? They additionally try to make love the millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> if they are doing in this way, mine is going along the millimeter. And then coming back, then going back. In this way, the mind is changing always. Because of this reason, they cannot enter each other. Numita may be there. Although Numita may be there, they do not concentrate on one point, especially touching point. If they do not concentrate on the Numita, on the touching point, then slowly their concentration will become weaker and weaker. When concentration is very weak, they cannot maintain their limit for a long time. Then they cannot endanger. Full absorption cannot appear because they are changing different places. So that they pay attention to different color. They want to see golden color. They try to see golden color. This is one type of perception. They then try to see ruby color. This is another perception. So if their perceptions are changing, Namida will be always changing. When Namida is always changing, then concentration cannot develop further. So when you are bright dancing on a banner, you should not be addition color. This is one. Another is you should not be addition form, different types of form or different types of shape. The another is you should not be addition characteristic. If you can be addition four elements characteristic, twelve characteristics, yeah, you can perceive twelve characteristics, it is true. But if you be addition twelve characteristics or four elements, say, hmm? twelve characteristics and four elements are say, then your object change. From Anabana to four elements object. When object change, then very soon you may see small particles here. These small particles arising in passing way, your concentration slowly will decrease. You cannot add jhana. So at that time, you should not be addition characteristic. In the same way, before you are seeing Nimeda, at that time also you should not be addition. Many meditators and research. Oh, the whole happy being thinks. How do you pay attention? Please tell me. They pay attention, the breath is not clear here. They follow inside. The inside is pushing, is very clear. When pushing is, if they emphasize on pushing, slowly hardness will appear. Then pushing in hardness together, if they pay attention slowly, many tensions will appear. They will spread through, through, uh, through all the head. The whole head will be getting hot. The whole head will be tension. Because they pay addition pushing. So this is not anabana. This is four elements meditation only. But if you want to practice four elements meditation, 
Only one place is not enough. You must train to this uh, four elements throughout the body. Only pushing in hardness also not enough. You must listen to all categories throughout the body. So four elements meditation and anabana meditation are completely different. Mm. When you are practicing anabana, you should focus on breath. <coughs> but many meditators ask me, the concept, what is concept? <laughs> so this is, many meditators do not understand. Concept means if you bring a dish in as a breath, we call this is concept. Why? This is, you cannot break down the compactness and you cannot see argument materiality at that time. If you pay for any meditation system materiality, one day you may see clubs, small particles. At that time, when you pay a decent prep, prep is nothing but a group of small particles on clubs. If you analyze these clubs, they are, in each club there are nine types of materiality. Hmm? Earth element, water element, fire element, wet element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, and breathing sound. They are ultimate reality. But before seeing ultimate reality as a breath, you see, we say this is concept thing. So that concept you must pay attention. This is your Anabana object. But when you are practicing for element, this is another way. So you should distinguish. Anabana in four elements meditation. Anana, anabana med, if you want to practice Anabana meditation, you must focus only the breath. You should not distinguish for this breath. It is not necessary to distinguish or to investigate. Only just breath. According to conventional truth, you should be addition to the breath. So, here, Perception of diversity. Hmm? So because of this reason, perception of diversity also one type of information. Then eleven is excessive meditation about forms. So different forms he should the one they are practicing divine and sex power. Most important then is second important then is to see cause and effect only. Maybe if you see one Demon, for example, why he began demon? Huh? Why did he begin demon? Began demon. You should try to investigate up to his butt linking moment, and then before butt linking moment, then you can see cause and effect. This is very helpful for the to be the origination. This again, divine, uh, this divine and sex power. This is connected with divinity origination. Another such power is Uveniwasa Nosti, regulation of past lives, hmm? past lives and past aggregates. This is very helpful for Nama Roba Prishida, discerning ultimate mythology and materiality. Because this such power can see past aggregates, hmm? many, many past aggregates. So these two such power, regulation of past life and divine and such power both, they are connected with vipassana. Because of this reason, our, bod our body said that when he is sitting under body tree on the Vusaga for Monday, first he practices Puvini Vasa, regulation of past life. Secondly, he practices divine and such power. When he sees different beings, for example, if he penetrates the ground, he can see her beings. Why they be rich? Why did they reach her? He can see clearly their cause. Because before they are reaching her, from where they are coming, he says, he can see. Oh, they do such and such a whole swan to mass. Because of this a whole swan to mass, they Reborn and hair. You can clearly see. This is very helpful for divine uh, origination. In the same way, he said his life. Abawat. He can see there are many divas. When they begin divas, 
พระเทพบัตรในกิมโมเมตวัดที่เป็นอันที่สิ่งที่เกี่ยวกับสิ่งของสัตว์ธรรมะพุทธิที่มีเรื่องอยู่ประเภทใดทีก็สัตว์ที่สิ่งของสัตว์ธรรมะที่อาริโกเนจิวาวะเสียสัตว์เกี่ยวกับยานิสิบัตร He only emphasizes forms. Then his concentration may fall. He cannot improve. So forms may be here. Excessive meditation upon forms. Only just he's trying to see only forms. He do not investigate cause and effect. So if he does in this way also, then his concentration slowly fell away. When his concentration fell away. Then the light and the vision of forms would disappear. In the same way, when you are practicing anapana, <coughs> when you, especially when you make a b e a r you should not be a distinct form. Hmm? If you emphasize only form, this is also when your perception change, form will be changing. Because of this reason, if you be a distinct only just form, it is not good. How you should be? Many many d i d a s ask me many questions about this. The e x p e r i e n c we see how we should not be a d e c e n t f o r m or just red or just n i m i t e d You should be a d e c e n t only. Whether this is raw or l o w whether this is white or yellow, you should not be a d e c e n t color. You should not be a d e c e n t f o r m You should just be a d e c e n t as n i m i t e d or as red only. Red and n i m i t e d in this case same. อาสาสะภาษาสีนิสัยอุบานะนิเมจันเปตะอาสาสะภาษาสะสัมญาเมวะทุกวันนี้อุอาสาสะภาษาสะอะอินเปรตเอออุเปรตนิสนิเมจันอบิยาพิกอสอันดิสเรซินวิกินอันสุกอร์นิสนิเมจันเอสอาสาสะภาษาสะเซนอาสาสะภาษาสะนิเมจันนิเมจันเอสอาสาสะภาษาสะนิสเกตเซนสู When you are practicing anapana, you should not be a d i c i n g different forms. In the same way, when you are practicing four elements meditation, also when you are concentrating to close father, you should not be a d i c i n g forms. You should just be a d i c i n g four element only. When you see white form, you should not be a d i c i n g as white form. You should be a d i c i n g only four element only. When you are seeing tra- transparent form, and then also you should not be a d i c i n g This is a transparent form. You should be a d d i t i o n only four elements in that transparent form. When you see calabas, then you should not be a d d i t i o n whether this calabas is small size or big size. In this way, you should not distinguish. Only just four elements only. Then slowly you will see real calabas. Real calabas are very thin, hmm? very small body g a s You can see in each these small body g a s and then. If you gain the same four elements in each small body, gap, then this is the final stage of four elements meditation in s a m a t a meditation, as well as the beginning stage of the p a s a n a So altogether, there are eleven types of i n f o r m a t i o n s I will calculate. Number one is t o p Number two is mm, attention. Number three is s o a n t o b a Number four is fear. Number five is elation. Number six is inertia. Number seven is excess of energy. Number eight is deficiency of energy. Number nine is longing. Number ten is perception of diversity. Number eleven is excessive meditation upon forms. All together, eleven types of i m p a r f e c t i o n s So when you are practicing a n a b a n a or four elements meditation, you should carefully avoid hmm? take care of these eleven t y p e s of i n f o r m a t i o n Okay. Any question? Have <laughs> <laughs> a quick question. What was number ten again? Ten. Number ten in the list. I didn't hear you. In perception of t a i b a s k i Ah, what? Perception of diversity. So it seems that these imperfections um, are are based on can be kind of reduced to the three, which is the mind either moves toward an object, or it moves away from an object, or it's in delusion about the object. 
Okay, okay. Um, the only hindrance that is that is left out uh, is aversion. And the only in the imperfections, the only one that is close to aversion is fear. So I'm wondering yes, yes. why yes, yes, yes. why aversion is out. Usually and then the aversion is very rare. Aversion is usually uh, when you are do not practice in meditation other than usually abhya. But aversion is under the fear. They are same group. Mm -hmm. Fear, dosa, dosa, dosa group. Aversion is dosa group. But when you are focusing on the breath object, aversion may appear occasionally. Occasionally means to, uh, Without paying attention to any meditation object, within interval time, aversion usually appears. When focusing on the mimeta or breath object, other than aversion may be very rare. Because of this reason, they do not eh, special, eh, especially mentioned here. Yeah. They are same group aversion, jealousy, they are same group dosa. Especially this eight endings, eight endings, ten casinos, and eight endings, anabana janas, as well as the ground number, the certain summata meditation objects, and then also he began his part. The five mundane side power also began his part at the time. But especially when he is sitting under the body tree on the full body of Wisaka. They emphasize on that time. But before going to that, before that full moon day, when he is staying in Sala Forest, Sala Forest, at that time also he practiced this meditation. This meditation practice is especially referring in, when he is practicing in Sala Forest. Sala is one type of tree, very hot. Flower is very sweet smell. When they die, the trees die automatically they begin rock. <laughs> Such type of thing. So, Bhante, you're saying that when he ate the normal people's food from the village, yes. that caused a problem? No problem. Oh, it was not an imperfection? No, no, no. But he has not mentioned it as perfection. But 
Uh, then, then he, when his body begins strong, yes. he practices meditation by meaning is like that. Mm. Yeah. 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 This doesn't have to do uh, specifically with the imperfections you mentioned, huh. but it does have to do with uh, Anapana. Can I ask that question? Um, um, you talked about how uh, when you're focused here, you want to focus on the whole breath body. And that the whole breath body begins here and it ends here. Okay. And so my question is, if you're supposed to pay attention to here all the time, then why would that be an additional instruction? Is there some subtlety about staying with a whole breath body that has to that I, that has to be captured and it cannot be captured by simply saying only pay attention here. I guess no, I'm confused. Where else would you go? Oh, my meaning is here means you should you may feel only breath. It is also okay. But at the day if you know if you know the breath continuously, it is enough. We can say this is the whole breath body only. You know the whole breath body. But this translation, whether real good or not, I don't know, because we are not expert in English. Many med meditators and discuss. They also cannot say exactly, but it is true, they don't know. <laughs> Here, Buddha says kaya. Sabha Gaya Pati Samvedi, Asa Se Samvedi Sikhati. Sabha Gaya Pati Samvedi, Asa Se Samvedi Sikhati. He trains, I only breathe in, experiencing the whole breath body. He trains, I only breathe out, experiencing the whole breath body. What is the whole Sabha Gaya? He translates the whole breath body. Sometimes I discuss with them, you should not use body. You should see the whole breath. Mm -hmm. When we nap or not, I discuss many times. Mm -hmm. Oh, because of kaya, they translate only body. <laughs> so, the whole breath is enough. The whole breath where in this area, you maybe one point you should pitch. On that one point only, you should pay attention to the whole breath. The whole breath is from the beginning to the end. Here begins, here ends. Mm. In this way, if you pay addition to the whole breath, it is enough. And could you explain uh, the last one again, med meditation on excessive form? Excess? It, uh, the last number 11? Mm. Oh, maybe forms means, when you are being addition to Anabana, you may get me here, for example. You should not pay addition form. If you pay addition form, this is long or this is wrong or this is white, this is yellow, this is red, this is ruby color, etc. In this way, if you pay addition color in form, then when your perception change, color in form will be always changing. Because of this reason, if you pay addition form, then concentration will slowly decrease. And how would that apply to the four elements? In the same way, four elements, when you are practicing four elements, color may rise. Oh, wh which form? Oh. Uh, white color may rise. Oh, here rise, here rise, here yeah. rise. In this way, if you do not be, you should not be in this form. But this is, maybe our body is not like that. Our body is here head, here legs, here hands, here legs, here body. Not same like that. In this way, if you are, uh, Pay addition form, then your concentration will decrease. How you should be? You should be addition for elements. Okay. <laughs> um, regarding that uh, question, mm -hmm. about color, not to pay attention to color, does that mean then that you would not even know what color it was? No, no. Maybe no color. But you should know this is, this is white color, this is yellow color. 
This is ruby color. In this, etc. In this way, you should not be addition color. Mm -hmm. You should be addition as nimika only or as bright only. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I didn't catch quite clear when you explain it. Could you explain again why breathing is a concept? Maybe breathe is I have been explaining. If you be addition, if you gain this some four elements in breath. Breath is nothing but a group of small body gas. Calabas. If you analyze this calabas, in each calabas there are nine types of materiality, eh? including breathing sound. These are ultimate materiality. When you are practicing anabana, it is not necessary to pay addition to this ultimate materiality. You should pay addition according to conventional truth, breath as breath only. So that breath is in Bali, it is called Pinyadi. Mm. Pinyadi, they translate concept. So whether it is true or not, I don't know, but Bali name is Pinyadi only. No Pramata, no ultimate materiality. So meaning that you just know roughly this is a breath. You yes, do not yes. know the detail, this is yes, the ultimate materiality. Yes, yes. yes. Yesterday you asked me one question about the intimation, about the Bible intimation. I forgot one thing to say. They are not the object of your open eye. They are the object of mind. They are knowing yet. They can be understood by mind only. Mind mm -hmm. that mind is especially when you can see small particles. Mm. If you break this four elements meditation systematically, then you should try to see small particles calabas. When you see calabas, you should try to analyze this calabas. Then first you should discern here consciousness. Then please do like that. Then consciousness produce mind produce materially. Up to this area you should try to see. Then at the time you cannot see you can see only a group of small particles only. If you analyze these small particles, mind produce particles. In each particle there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types, weight element is predominant for that. <coughs> that weight element can produce one type of bodily intimation. And that then only you can understand by mind though. In the same way, when you are speaking, for example, A, mm. A is rising here. Mm. The mind produces materiality up to mm. this area. In that mind produces materiality. If you analyze in each small particle, there are eight types. Among eight types, our element is predominant mm. factor. Mm. One producing salt. Mm. The other element subtract here. Mm. In the here also many art elements, many calabas. Mm. In each calabas there are many art elements. When produce art element and here art element, they extract because of one element. This art element attacking to this art element. This is called bubble intimation. Mm. This is also my object, not open eye object. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you said for, under fear that sometimes uh, you would be afraid because you would sink into, and I, I don't know the term, but it's go mind state. It's like Maybe sinking into water. Yes, yes. Yeah. As if you, some meditators feel as if they are sinking into water, or they are falling down into water, mm -hmm. fall down water. So uh, they feel at the day, sometimes they feel fear of fear. <coughs> this fear I may, but some meditators not arise. That's such type of fear. They do not afraid anything. So is that something that happens commonly? Is that part of the, the Okay, so then for some meditators. Just for some? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You say uh, um, falling into Bhavanga. Yes. It, it's sort of as though it's very unskillful, but when you try to discern Bhavanga, 
Maybe yeah. now your concentration is developed. So this problem will not arise. But if your object changing, then this may be occasionally arise. Then is th does that mean falling into Bhavanga? Yes. What yes. is falling into Bhavanga? Falling into Bhavanga means now you are concentrated on the Nimitta, for example. Hmm? That is mind or cognitive process. Between two cognitive processes, usually Bhavanga is arise. Mind or cognitive process means one mind advancing consciousness and seven jhanas, impartience. Then Bhavanga. Then mind or cognitive process, then Bhavanga. This is the natural way. But for some meditators, between two cognitive process, Bhavanga mind state arising and passing with many, many times. We say this is falling into Bhavanga. <laughs> because the mind is a little bit changing. Bhuyanga's object is past previous object. Now you are practicing Anabhana Pribhaka Nimitta, hmm? <coughs> counterpart side. This Bhuyanga mind state did not take this object. Bhuyanga mind state can take only past object. So object is completely different. Because of this reason, when Bhuyanga mind state successfully rising in passing way, then one meditator feel as if they are falling into water. But now your concentration is not if up to full absorption states. Imagine from full absorption or coming up from full absorption, if you take some Bhuyanga, you can clearly see Bhuyanga mind state. Hmm? But in this case, previously I had explained before. <coughs> no, really you are not understanding Bhuyanga mind state. Bhuyanga mind state produces this transparent element, like Mera. That transparent element only you can discern now. Not real Bhuyanga mind state. Real Bhuyanga mind state, you will be able to discern when you are practicing depending on origination only. Mm. Banda, just um, if if you do experience that that sort of um, fear or um, anxiety about sinking into the object, um, what, what 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 should you do? Maybe for some meditation, what called light? Okay. Shock. 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 Yeah. Shock. 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 <coughs> they feel as if they are falling into mm. one pit mm. because of this can be shock. Mm. This such type of fear, um, not strong fear. But it, 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 I, I mean, I, I think that I felt, you know, <coughs> it, it's, enough to, it's enough to break your concentration. Is there something you should do to, to make you feel more... At ease with the object, or, or is it just a question of time and re repetition? So at that time, when the mind fall into Bhavanga, the mind, the mind, he already lost the mindfulness. He already lost the the object. That's why the mind. Yes. I'm not talking about. So I'm not talking about falling into Bhavanga. I'm talking about when you're uh, sinking into an object. Mm. Uh, you know, sinking into the meditation. Maybe object. for any object. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So. Maybe this is concentration. If you are thinking four elements object, other than if you understand the four elements characteristic clearly, this is we we do not call thinking. You are this is concentration. And you don't experience that sort of. Huh? You, there is none of that experience of anxiety or fear. When, when Maybe when concentration arises successfully for a longer, yes, no. Anxiety or fear. But within two cognitive process, if many bring up mind states appear, at the time, mindfulness on the four elements of that disappear. Because of this reason, you may feel as 
you are falling into mm-hmm. one pit, and then, then your mind begins shock. This such type of fear. Mm-hmm. So, I think the answer to this question is going to be, you'll understand it when you get there. But um, you just pointed out that the bhavanga takes as its object previous uh, experience. Mm-hmm. And so when you have said in your lectures that one would look to the bhavanga for current mind states... Maybe this is only when he can this uh, uh, the mentality, materiality, and the very origination other than they can do. Is, um, but in this case, that going up my state produced here transparent element. As metaphorically, metaphorically, this is also called going up. Is it heart base as well? Is that yes, yes. actually what we're looking at is the yes, heart yes. base? Yes, yes. Okay. Any question? <laughs> <laughs> When, when uh, the meditator falls into Bawanga, did you say that it feels like they're sinking in water? Yes, yes. And no, 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 hot cold. You didn't hit me. Hot cold, sinking. <coughs> and, that, and that's what causes the anxiety for mm-hmm. some people? The sense Not anxiety, of but uh, they, they shook. Such type of fear only. So, if the meditator experiences um, this very calm, almost like like floating yes, yes. in in water, mm. it just goes on and on. Is this like a bawanga no, no. mind state? What it's is this? Bawanga mind state is you do not know present object. For example, mm-hmm. when you are practicing anapana, then concentration begins. Yes. And then, then you may feel floating, but and then, then you still know the breath, mm-hmm. or you, you may still know the nimitta. Yes. When the mentally does not know the breath, as well as not know nimitta. So, but my question is, um, I don't, maybe I'm not asking it properly. The experience that some meditators have of actually, it's almost like floating in the sea. Yes. Like they're floating just in a very peaceful sea, and it's... Yes, this is concentration state. Yeah, mm-hmm. Pity hmm? Pity Maybe, yes. Pity rapture is associated with concentration. Mm-hmm. So, so this is not... Is, the this is good, no problem. Other than that, if they do not lose the object. To do not lose the object means, if they practice anabana, they may see anabana or nimeda. They still see nimeda at that time. So because of this reason, this is concentration. Especially rapture is associated with that concentration. Rapture can produce <laughs> and, and I have another question, just to distinguish for myself. Um, the difference in the imperfection of sloth and torpor and inertia, they seem so close together so close to me. So is there there's obviously a difference because they're two Maybe different. Slow the endeavor is dullness of mind. <coughs> you know, pay attention to the object. Inertia is my understanding is laziness, causing that shrinking mind. We don't want to pay attention to this meditation object. Mind is shrinking because mind w- want to wander. <laughs> so shrinking to pay attention to meditation object. Mm-hmm. And sloth and torpor, by comparison, is just a sense just of dullness. Just dullness of mental patterns. No edit. No edit my dull mind. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm pushing this question uh, maybe too far, the one about the uh, the, sink, the shock. Mm. But I, I was just curious, is, is that shock similar to the shock that happens when, say, you're sitting in a chair and you start to fall asleep, and all of a sudden it's like you, you fell and there's that shock that wakes you yes, up. Yes, yes. Is it similar to that yes, sensation? Yes, yes. 
Yes. Is the consciousness similar to that? Is the same cause <coughs> causing both of those, or is there any relation? Maybe, but for the way I not say, mm-hmm. or maybe why you are practicing four elements or anabana you will say. For the way I is, at the day we see fearful objects <laughs> because of this reason fear arises. I compare with this only Anabana only. Mm-hmm. When divine I am practiced, <coughs> real fear. <laughs> the other day, not shock. <laughs> <laughs> real fear. <laughs> now it's because of going up my state, huh? as if you are free shock. The Buddha um, Sayadaw attained Nibbana and Parinibbana from the fourth jhana, which is, yes? Maybe there may be different opinions. Hmm? Okay, different opinions. Different opinions means <coughs> in one soda in Sayadaw hmm. Nikaya. Santi Marava. Santi Marava is what? Taking Nibbana. Mm-hmm. So taking me from the object means after put jhana, this man grasp the nibbana object. Mm-hmm. And then, then he take bring nibbana maybe, but not real grasping. What about? In Bali, this is Arab, means maybe when we are getting up, we do like that. This is God. No pity, 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 Grasping also possible, or expecting also possible. But because put jhana's object is in, eh? nibbana object is not seen. But before put jhana, he, uh, he entered into Arab Prussian knowledge many times. Mm-hmm. Near, when it is near, after that only he entered many samabadis, many attainments. And when he reached put jhana mm-hmm. after that, he take pranibana. But he is always expecting nibbana. Mm. Nibbana means what is nibbana? <laughs> <laughs> this is problem. <laughs> nibbana is only complete cessation states of mentality and materiality. That cessation states he always is for them. Mm. After pranibana, pranibana means last boing up my moment. After last boing up my moment. There will be no mentality in materialism. The last winga is called Chutichit, that consciousness. That, that consciousness is called Pranibana. Hmm? After Pranibana, there will be no mentality in materialism. He is fed always. Hmm. Complete cessation state of mentality in eh? materialism. more general question about uh, the fourth noble truth. Um, I, um, after two weeks of, of your Dhamma talks, I, I'm, uh, um, my doubt is lessening and lessening uh, as to um, the fact that there is that there is a way um, to the end of suffering. There's a path. Um, but I wonder what what you think or what you think the Buddha would have thought. Um, is this is this the only way? I mean, are are all the the Christian mystics and the Sufis and the Jains and the the Sikhs and the Hindus and are they all just wasting their time? <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to criticize others' opinion, but if you want to attain nibbana, this is the only way. 
about a Siva practice um, and when desire arises and then you take the image of that person and you rip them down part by part, 32 body parts, right? I find a lot of freedom in that when I do that. My heart gets light and happy and knowing that at that level it's all impermanent. Where I get hooked is that what drives the desire in the first place very often is not the form, but like a person's paramis. You know, like I'm drawn into like their kindness and their lovingness and their generosity. And so ripping the body down doesn't do much to cool out that desire that's rooted in. Maybe this design, such type of design is called samachanda. Good desire. This is full sentiment. But craving or attachment to sensual object is called a whole sentiment. This is called loba. Loba and chanda. Desire is chanda. Loba and chanda. They have no same meaning. But originally, if loba is very strong, craving <coughs> or attachment to sensual. Pleasures is very strong. At that time, Lova is the leader. Chanda Dajanya is follower. But in Hoswan Dhammas, now you are practicing Anabana. You want to attain Jana or you want to, uh, you want, and you want to see, do practice Vipassana. Hmm? So such type of Dajanya is called Hoswan Dhamma. This is not craving. This is not attachment. This is so one type of desire only. This is kusna dhamma, kusna dhamma. If you want to realize, if you want to realize nibbana or do realize buddha truth, this is also very high, powerful kusna desire. This is not craving like attachment. So that desire is necessary when you are meditating. Mm-hmm. But how do I get free of the whole? desire for, you know, one of the things that cycles, this is embarrassing, <laughs> one of the things that cycles in my practice is desire for, um, you know, males, male energy, you know, so, and it, but it comes up, not, it comes up through, very often, an attraction to their parents. This is also good to say, if you have a person, we want to fulfill paramis with such type of design. What's that? Do you want to fulfill paramis? Right, but I'm attracted to paramis and men. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And then I can rip them down, 32 body parts, and that's fine, but it doesn't make the desire go away. Because the desire is for the person's parodies. That's what's attractive to me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 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 
maybe they are two different things. Huh? If you have attachment to that man, this is a wholesome karma. If you can see that you do pass of that person, this is wholesome karma. But this is one type of samatha meditation. That samatha meditation can suppress this attachment or craving temporary on me. If you want to remove this attachment completely, then you should try and sit down medically with Vipassana. Hmm? Mm -hmm. When you are practicing Vipassana, sit down medically, when you are inside, mm -hmm. become which you are, you may realize Nibbana. Mm -hmm. Stage by stage, when you begin Anaha, this craving attachment will get If you don't want to be a Raha, then you should try to, to be a no Raha na states. Other than also that craving, that will be a so, so tapanna is not enough for this, sir? No. 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 So tapanna, maybe you, you may understand Usaka. Yes. A lot of sons and daughters. <laughs> yeah, she is so tapanna. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sagadami also said, but very rare, very few attachments. <coughs> Anagami is sure. They will do nothing. Maybe you may have Wisaka and Tamadina. Tamadina is what Wisaka is husband. When Wisaka went to the monastery and listened to the Tama, he became Nagami. Other than he don't want to see Tamadina as what he want to see as a sister only. Tamadina began unhappiness. So the way she criticized. This Tama can be realized by men only or by women also can realize. Oh, women also can realize. Then please permit me. I only go to monastery. I only ordain as a bhikkhuni. Uh -huh. <laughs> she ordained bhikkhuni as a bhikkhuni and she became Raha. So you should try. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, about 32 parts. Uh, when I learned it, I learned that you really should only do it to yourself. Mm. Are you saying it's okay or even recommended to do it to, to someone else, like an object of desire? Like, you know, like, uh, mm -hmm. He do to himself. Can he do to others when they decide? Oh, okay. Can okay, do, can do. It's okay. Okay, can do. And then any externally book. Maybe when I will continue Mahasri Dhanak, Hmm? Becoming Chabda is this Chabda. Idi Ijada Waka Yaga and Dubasi we heard it, Vega Waka Yaga and Dubasi we heard it, etc. In this way, both that dot and this study do but Chabda. Internally and externally, both you can try. If you see that it was only, always you should ask, which part do you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> Let us stop the video. Transparing merit. Okay, please follow. Please repeat after me. Idame Ponya. Asawakaya, Asawakaya, Waha Hoduk, Waha Hoduk, Idame Ponya, Idame Ponya, Niba Nasa, Niba Nasa, Pachio, Pachio, Hoduk, Hoduk, Idame Ponya, Idame Ponya, Sabasadana, Sabasadana, Pajima, 
Sa <laughs>